Hey guys, what's going on? It's Janky, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Fortnite banners. Now, a lot of people, um, have been commenting on my videos and stuff like that, or, uh, in, like, my chat section, in my, in my, like, live streams and stuff, and they've been asking how to make, uh, Fortnite banners. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just thought that I would make, a uh, updated tutorial on how to make them, since my other one was kind of old, and there's been actually some updates to the, uh, Pixlr E. So, yeah, I just thought that I would make a updated tutorial and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see if this video can hit 20 likes, that would be awesome if it could, and uh, yeah, let's just get right into the video. So yeah guys, uh, what you want to start off by doing is going to this website, it's called pixlr.com slash e, and then whenever you guys do that, you guys want to get your um, template for your guys' YouTube banner. So if you go over to here, and search up YouTube banner template, go to images, it should be the first one. Now you guys want to make sure that this resolution right down here, whenever you're saving it, is 2560 by 1440p. And then what you guys just want to do is uh, right click on it, click save image as, and then just save it somewhere. That's easy to access. Whenever that's saved, what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to open image, and then you guys want to open it. And then make sure you guys click on original, and then click apply. So you guys, whenever you guys do that, uh, the first step that I normally do whenever I make these banners is they go to the text icon and then I click add and then put in my name now uh, you guys can put in any font you guys want uh, if you guys want to figure out how to download new fonts there is a video linked to that in the description how you guys uh, download free fonts for Pixlr E so yeah um, for this specific uh, tutorial I'm gonna be using a font that I've been using a lot lately it is called hair mask and I really like and I really like it alright and then you guys can enlarge in it a lot just like I'm doing right now and then if you guys click on styles you guys can add like outlines backgrounds shadows whatever you guys want to add and I'm just gonna be doing this and I'm gonna be making it blue and then I turn the size down to two I right, guess so whenever it's just like this uh, what I would normally do here is um, I would actually go to layer and then rasterize text slash element now I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool effect that you guys can do uh, that makes your uh, banner just look that much better. So I would recommend tilting it just a tiny bit. It'll make it more compact. It's easier to move around and everything like that. And then what I would do is make it small and then line it up with the center of the banner, just like I did right there. And then after that, click on it, right click on it, and then click duplicate layer. With this new layer, what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna make this a tad bit smaller, just like this, and then center it up as well. Now after you guys do that, um, what you guys want to do is right click on it and then change the transparency to 50, just like this, and then move it below your other one. Now for this specific uh, ba like this specific like name that I use, um, it's actually, some names look a lot better with this effect. You might need to make it a bit smaller just to make it look better. Yeah, like I had to make it a bit smaller and it looks like a lot better, but some names look a lot better with this effect, I'm just letting you guys know that. So yeah, after you guys do that, the next step is adding in your guys' Fortnite character. So you guys can either add in two, or you guys can add in one character. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys both of the different um, ways. So yeah, I'm just going to be uh, picking out one character. So you guys, uh, you guys can search up any specific skin. I would recommend doing just searching up Fortnite uh, skin PNG. And yeah, you guys are going to look for PNGs because those are the uh, transparent backgrounds, so it looks really good. And uh, yeah, just look for a skin that matches your color scheme and looks good. For my case, I think I'm going to be using this skin right here. Now to find out if it's a true PNG, some of them, whenever you guys look at them, they may have this um, checkerboard pattern, but they are not actually PNGs. They just have the checkerboard pattern. So you guys want to look for uh, pictures that have a white background, just like this one right here. But if you click on it, and whenever it fully loads, it then will have the checkerboard pattern. That is an actual PNG. You guys are going to right click on that, copy image address, and then layer, uh, URL is layer, and then paste the URL in, and then your character will be right here. Resize it, make it just however you guys want. I'm going to center it up, and then uh, make sure you guys are selected on it. Click this icon right here, and then just uh, delete all of the extras and if it if it's like a bit cut off like you can definitely stick this line here click this tool and then just use the arrow keys to move it down one or however much you guys need and boom now your character is on your name 
So this is if you guys have like a bigger name and it like um it'll work a lot better if that if that's the case. But since my name is not that big and it's kinda hard to see, I'm actually gonna be moving the character over to the side. Just like this. And then I'm gonna be moving it see if this line is gonna move it down one. So it's messed up. And then I'm gonna be since my name's smaller, like I said, I'm gonna be adding in another Fortnite skin. Alright guys, here's another one, and I'm actually gonna show you guys uh so if you guys find a skin that you guys really like, but um, uh, it, it is not transparent, or uh, it's just it has like a plain white background, uh, what you guys can actually do is go to copy image address and then add it in. And then as you guys can see, it comes in with a white background. Uh, what you guys can do, go to the wand select, make sure you're selected on the uh, character, then click on the white background, and then press backspace. And boom, it's not gonna look. I don't think it looks like as high quality as if you did it as PNGs do, but it doesn't look horrible. And if you guys are wanting a specific skin, it might be worth it to do this. Uh, I'll show you guys what we're gonna do that might uh, that's gonna show you guys that it's worth it. And it's actually not even that bad to use this. So, whenever you guys uh, get the whole skin, what you guys are gonna do is uh, just like you normally did for the other one, resize it and then put it on the other side. So what I normally do to match up the size of the characters is I would put their heads together and kind of make sure that they're the same size and then move it to the other side and then use the one select tool just like I did for the other one. Alright and it looks like it's lined up. Yep it's lined up. So now just kind of like adjust the characters make sure that you can like see them good and also your text. I prefer to have them a little bit over my text because I think it looks pretty nice. But yeah, make sure that they're pretty even and it looks like they are. So the next step is adding in your guys' background. So to add in the background, switch up Fortnite, map, back, oh, you guys can do background or backdrop, I prefer backdrops. And then you guys go to images, there's tons of different Fortnite map backdrops you guys can choose from. You guys can keep scrolling down to find more and more of them. Alright guys, so I'm going to be using uh, this one right here, so what you guys are going to do is just right click on it, copy image address just like before, and then insert as layer. And then once it's pasted in, as you guys can see mine is already like uh, lined up, but you guys might need to resize it and line it up. And then what you guys are going to do, this is a strategy that I've, uh, that I created a long time ago, but what you guys have to do is see your background layer right here has this little lock your template layer you guys are going to double click the lock now it's unlocked and you guys are going to take this uh, picture that you guys just added as your background and drag it below the background layer and then you guys are going to make sure you guys are selected on this right the new image that you guys just created or you guys just uh, put in for your background and then you guys are going to uh, delete it uh, according to the uh, desktop max, which is this whole entire giant small rectangle. So you guys are just going to delete it just like I'm doing. And then just move this above the background. And there you go. So whenever you guys do this, uh, what I would normally do here is I would uh, go on to this background you guys just made right here. And then um, go over to adjustment. And then I'd go to hue and saturation. And then I would turn up the saturation and other things because this really makes your banner pop and makes it look really nice. So yeah, I would turn up the saturation and lightness a little bit. You guys can also change the colors, uh, color balance, and you guys can change the colors. Like let's say I wanted a more red. You guys can change the colors to make it look more like uh, the main color of your guys' banner that you want to do. So yeah, that's another thing you guys can do. Uh, I'm also going to be using the blur tool and I'm going to be blurring this out probably like 15. And by the way guys, if you guys do the blur tool, I would recommend using this tool right here again. And then uh, as you guys can see on the edge, you can see that there's like these little marks that kind of uh, make it look a little bit weird uh, because you guys are blurring it out and that just makes it look like that for some reason. So just uh, delete it once more. I'm top and bottom and just get rid of all that and um, yeah also guys um, as you guys can see adding in this background layer it may throw off your characters so as you guys can see they're one pixel down uh, so you guys might want to change move the characters like they're both about one pixel down so go to the um, arrange tool and you guys might need to move them down one pixel one or two pixels each it really just depends 
but yeah that's uh just something that i would recommend doing and then guys the one of the last steps is adding in a uh, your brush tool Cha i would recommend changing the size to about 250 and making the softness about 70 and then add in a new empty layer and what you guys are going to do is just uh go around them and just click every once in a while this is going to add in some nice glow to your characters and make them look really nice so yeah all right so whenever you guys finish with this um you guys can use this tool uh, uh just like you guys did before and just crop out all this extra stuff that's going on the bottom just like i'm doing now uh you may need to just like we've been doing all the time uh, as you guys can see, there's like there's like a, a little pixel that's showing, and it's really throwing it all off. So you guys can move it down one by using this tool again, like the arrange tool, and just moving it down with the arrow key. And then you guys can do this for the top two. All right, guys. So uh, whenever you guys are done with this, take this layer you just made and move it below the two characters. And there you guys go. You guys have just added a glow to the back of your guys' characters. So the last step uh, that I'm going to show you guys is actually adding in one of these things. This is called uh, Gradient. It basically adds in, this is going to be like the background for your guys' banner. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Basically, you're going to add in another empty layer. And then you guys are going to go to this Gradient tool, click Radial, and then change it to the main two colors of your guys' banner. And then you go, what you guys can do is click on this or this and then you guys can change the cookie colors uh, the main two colors I feel like I used uh, you guys can click on these as well like you guys can go off and pick your color uh, based on other colors in the banner so like let's say I wanted a blue here or I wanted this green it really you guys can do whatever color you guys want but I'm going to be doing blue and I'm going to be doing uh, green just like this I feel like yeah that looks good and then what you guys are going to do is make sure you're on your empty layer and then just drag from the center and out and then take this layer and move it below your picture and there you guys go you guys have just made an awesome banner uh, for absolutely free on pixelr.com slash e so I hope that this video helped you guys out on how to make a banner this is my updated fortnite banner tutorial so yeah uh, if you guys did enjoy this video or it helped you guys out in any way, I'd appreciate it if you guys leave a like and subscribe. I make these videos all the time, and I think I'm also going to be starting to make some IRL videos and some other gaming videos. Uh, so yeah, make sure you guys look forward to those. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your guys' day. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.